In this Warframe guide, I'm gonna show you how to never run out of energy even with the most inefficient builds. See, having played Warframe for a while, we all know these situations. You jump into a group of enemies ready to unleash unprecedented carnage and then you realize you don't have any energy left. Oopsie. But no more, because today I'm not only going to give you every possible way that you can recharge your energy supply in Warframe, but also we'll talk about their pros and cons so you can pick and choose which one best fits your personal setup. As always, a massive thank you to all our generous channel members who help me keep the lights on. And with that being said, let's jump right into it. Now, before we start with the first methods, there is one key mechanic about energy regeneration that we need to understand, because otherwise a lot of this list today won't make any sense. See, in Warframe there are actually two different types of energy regeneration. One where you simply get a flat amount of energy, like the 25 when picking up an energy orb, and the other one where you regenerate a set amount of energy every second over a certain period of time. One good example here would be the Aura Mod Energy Siphon, giving you and your squad mates plus 0.6 energy per second. But now, why is this difference so important? Well, the answer is actually pretty simple. In Warframe, there are also two different types of abilities. Those which cost a flat amount of energy to cast, and then those that you switch on and then they drain your energy every second until you switch them off again. Stuff like Excalibur's Exalted Blade, for example. These specific skills are called channeled abilities. And the thing with them is that if they're on actively draining your energy, that then completely cancels any possible type of energy regeneration over time. To make an example, if your Exalted Blade on Excalibur were to drain, let's say, 2 energy per second, and you had an effect on recharging 3 energy per second, then naturally you'd assume that leads to you regenerating the difference of 1 energy per second. But no, in reality, the channeled ability will completely stop the regeneration and you will still lose the 2 energy per second from your Excalibur's Exalted Blade. So the key take home message here is, if your setup is relying mainly on channeled abilities, then the only way to refill your energy without having to switch these abilities off would be a flat energy refill and not an energy refill over time. So we gotta keep this fact in mind as we go into our list now. And speaking of the list, let's start out with method number one, energy pads. Energy pads are the most obvious solution for any energy problems that you might face on your journey. Being a consumable item, you can simply equip them in your gear wheel and then place them while playing your mission. Now, these energy pads come in three different sizes. The small one refills 25 energy every 7.5 seconds for a whole time frame of 30 seconds. The medium one gives 50 and the large one 100 energy, also all on the same time frame. So, how do you get them? Actually, pretty simple. All of them are built in your foundry for just a couple of standard resources. The blueprints to do so come from various different sources though. For the small pads, you can just buy the reusable blueprint from the market for a couple of credits. The medium ones come from your clan's energy lab, and the large ones are available from the syndicates, Arbitus of Hexes and the parent sequence, with a blueprint that lets you build 10 of these pads at once, or even in the form of a blueprint for a hundred large pads at once, which comes also again from the clan's energy lab in your dojo. Now, the interesting question now would be, should you use them? In my personal opinion, absolutely. They're great, especially the large ones. I personally use them all the time, also at the beginning of my videos, to fill up my energy before showcasing any builds. However, there is one big problem with this. Even though the energy pulses emitted from these pads seem to work like a series of instant energy refills, they're actually still considered energy regeneration over time and therefore blocked by channeled abilities. So if you're channeling, they're unfortunately not an option. At least uh, if you want to leave your channeled ability on, that is. And at this point, you all know it, I gotta do the YouTube stuff. So I'd be super grateful if you could spare a like, it's not just a phrase because it really helps out. So cheers for that, and now let's go on. Next up, 
I want to talk about mods. And just like with all other topics in Warframe, of course, also for energy regeneration, there are mods available to help with just that. The first and probably most prominent mod in this section would of course be Energy Siphon, the one we've already mentioned in the intro, giving you and your teammates plus 0.6 energy per second. Now, the good thing is, this one is easily obtainable from the Nightwave shop, even for early game players. However, on the other hand, 0.6 energy per second is meh at best. And also, since it delivers energy per second, just like the energy pads, it does not work on channeled abilities. In other words, if you have nothing better, sure, you can go for it, but all in all, it's not gonna be that amazing. The next mod, though, in contrast, can really be super awesome, and that would be Equilibrium. What it does is, whenever you pick up a health orb, you will still get the health that you picked up, but also roughly the same amount of energy in addition to that, and vice versa. Now, in and of itself, this is nothing super special yet. However, combine Equilibrium with a Warframe ability or a mod that greatly increases the drop rate of health orbs and you have yourself a potent mass of energy orbs in red disguise. Specifically, combining Equilibrium with a Panzer Valpophila running the mod synth deconstruction is huge. By the way, we're also going to talk about ability synergies here in a minute. First though, I'd like to shed some light on two other mods, that being Rage and Hunter Adrenaline. These two are very simple to understand and can be immensely useful. What they do is, they convert a certain percentage of the health that you lose into energy. So especially if you run a Warframe who takes a lot of health damage, all while at the same time self-healing that damage away again, one of these two mods alone could already be enough to give you all the energy in the world that you need. Positive side effect here is that these two mods count as a flat energy increase, therefore also working while channeled abilities are on. Now, before we go on to the next chapter, there are two more mods that can restore energy, however, I only want to go over them very briefly because I think they're honestly not that amazing. One of them would be Sharpshooter, giving you 15 energy for every headshot kill that you score with a sniper rifle, and lastly, there would be Archon Stretch, regenerating a little bit of energy over 5 seconds whenever a Warframe ability deals electric damage. Uh, really sounds better than it is in reality. Alright, so much for the mods. The next thing I want to talk about though is a big one, and that would be, of course, abilities. So, first of all, let's go over an ability, not from a Warframe, but actually from the Operator. And naturally, I'm talking about the Xenerik Focus School here. Arguably the best focus tree to start out with, Xenerik has two great skills in stock for you to boost your energy supply. That being Energy Pulse and Wellspring. First off, Energy Pulse increases energy gain from energy pickups by up to 50%, albeit over a 5 second time frame. Now, in most scenarios, that's nothing to worry about, and all in all, just a great and convenient passive skill. However, since it is an overtime effect, I'm sure you know what I'm up to, it does not work with channel abilities. Same goes, unfortunately, for the second ability Wellspring 2, which is an active operator skill dropping down an energy field where any Warframe running into it will gain a 30 second long energy regeneration effect restoring 5 energy per second. Many players love and use this on a daily basis, and to be fair, it is really great. Only downside of course being that since it is an overtime effect, it does not work while channeled abilities are on. But with the operator being done now, let's finally look into what our Warframes have to offer in terms of skills. And at this point I should maybe mention that I'm not gonna bring up every single skill in the entire game or skill augment that has something to do with energy, but only the ones that are available through the Hellman system, because only these are available for every setup. So with that being said, Proteus Dispensary is always a good pick, not just for energy, but also for health and ammo in case that's what you need as well. Good thing about this ability is, it drops energy orbs, therefore it can supply you even while channeling an ability. 
Another great skill here would be Grendel's Nourish, increasing your energy gained from all sources. Sources like Citrine's Fractured Blast or Lightcalf's Hunt from Varuna, for example. These two abilities work very similarly by increasing the drop rates of both health and energy orbs when killing enemies. Now, for Citrine, you just get a flat health and energy orb drop chance increase on affected enemies no matter how you dispose of them, whereas with Lycaf's Hunt, you'll get health orbs only from melee and energy drops only from headshot kills. So that's something to keep in mind when picking and choosing which of these two skills would be the better match for your personal loadout. And also, both of them are flat refills, so very good for channeled abilities. Now, these ones that I mentioned so far are the most popular choices among the Helminth roster. However, there are a few more. For example, Gara skill's Spectrarage with the Spectro Siphon Augment gives you a 50% energy orb drop chance on all enemies dying within the mirror field. And finally, we also have Trinity's Well of Life with the Pool of Life Augment and Titania's Spellbind with the Spellbound Harvest Augment. Now, these three can work for your energy supply in niche cases, however, in comparison with other Helminth abilities, they're not necessarily great and when you're purely interested in energy, then Citrine, Varuna or Grendel would probably be your best choices from the Helminth. And just in case you don't want to miss out on more interesting guides on builds and abilities in the future, then you might want to think about leaving the channel a sub. Welcome to the crew! But let's now talk about some higher level, more advanced shinies here, shall we? Because not only mods can help with your energy economy, there are of course also arcanes. Now, I know what you're thinking, but don't worry. I'm not gonna sit here and preach that everybody must have a rank 5 arcane energize. Really, that's not what I'm trying to say here. While, of course, Arcane Energize is probably the single best method of energy replenishment in the entire game, and probably always will be, I am fully aware that the price tag of currently around 2000 Platinum means that it will be far from available for a large portion of the player base. But luckily, there are other, thankfully much cheaper, options available here. For example, Primary Exhilarate, which is a primary weapon arcane that gives you energy recharge whenever your primary weapon deals an impact status effect. So for all the three Gorgon fans out there, including me, that might be something to look into. Now, sure, this is an overtime effect again, hence useless for channeled abilities, but it can be a nice expansion on top of Xeneric Focus School, giving you a potential 8.6 energy per second if you use both of them combined, which is certainly nothing to scoff at. And in case you prefer melees over primary weapons, then no problem, Exodia Brave has you covered, just put it on your Zaw, and it's gonna be the exact melee version of Primary Exhilarate. But I hear you say, these energy over time arcanes are all somewhat slow affairs. Isn't there something like Arcane Energize that is just not Arcane Energize? Well, as stupid as it may sound, but yes, there actually is one and it can be insanely strong. What I'm talking about here is the Operator Arcane Emergence Dissipate. What this does is, it allows you to cancel a Void Sling prematurely by shooting your Operator's Amp. When doing so, an energy pulse will be emitted from the point that you were shooting at and enemies hit by this energy pulse will drop small things called energy modes that kinda work like a small energy orb, replenishing 10 energy each. Now, I'm fully aware that switching to your operator, initiating a void sling and then cancelling out of it again is quite the finger twister and needs probably some time to get used to. However, it shouldn't be underestimated that this arcane can provide 10 energy per enemy hit every 1.5 seconds. Pair that with a decently capable grouping ability from your Warframe side and you can refill your entire energy pool pretty much instantly. But even though it's a bit inconvenient to use at first, Emergence Dissipate, in my opinion, is the single best alternative to the insanely rare and super expensive Arcane Energize. Which leaves us with only one last topic to talk about, Archon Shards. Now, 
I am fully aware that Archon Shards are pretty much the most endgame thing in the game at the moment. And the good thing here is, it's not even all that great when it comes to energy. So if you aren't quite there yet, then no need to worry. However, just for completion's sake, you can use Yellow Archon Shards to make energy orbs 50% more effective on the normal and 75% more effective on the Tau Forge Shards. I'd say, if you have a free slot and the shards to fill it, then sure, you can go for it. However, I also don't think that this alone would make much of a difference without any of the other previously mentioned methods. And if you're now looking for the best Warframes to spend all your freshly gained energy with, then these right here should be a great start. As always, a massive thank you goes out to Akimbo Fate, Niels V, Lamies, Demon Lord Zell, and all other generous channel members for your amazing support. I hope to see you all in the next one, and until then, as always, good loot.